Well, what do you think, Junior? Junior's all, up on. Yeah. Junior's all fixed up after his little accident here last week. Today's the first day of actual chisel plow. Now we've done some chisel plowing this year already, but it was only to you know fix up them spots where uh, manure could have potentially run off the field. So I'm just getting him set up in the field now, the 8360. Uh, my wife's coming after me. She's gonna pick me up, and then I'm gonna go back and get the 9560 and bring it over. So there's about 60 acres or so on this farm. Um, I'm gonna get him set up. Hopefully my wife gets here in a little while. And I can get home and grab the 9560. So you can see behind us we've got the 13 shank chisel plow. And we're gonna get set up here. Right, bud? Yep. You can see his mark here on his face. It's all fixed itself up. He needs a little bit of a haircut, but... Alright. Turn the four-wheel drive on. Where's that? Right there. It's a lot drier than I thought it was going to be. I put a fair amount of manure on this. And it is plowing up nicely. Put them discs down a little bit. There. plow on a little bit of an angle and then what that does is it kind of fills in the spots that you know either tracks that were run by a spreader or whatever and I'm not plowing too straight because I'm holding this camera but we're running right along at six and a half miles an hour All right, we're in day number two of chisel plowing. We got the 9560, and Junior just got over here. Davey, my nephew, he's chisel plowing with the 8360, so. I'm getting kicked out of the tractor here, so you got to plow this one? No. Why? I don't like power shift. You don't like power shift. What are you going to plow with, the other one? Yep. Going to have to switch with Davey? You sure he's going to be okay with that? Huh? He doesn't like the 8360. Oh, I see. So, all right. So these guys are gonna switch. The one farm that they're on, they got about 50 acres left to do. And then I gotta help them get equipment moved to the next one and uh, next farm that they're gonna be on. They got about 80 acres to do. So I'm getting kicked out of the tractor here. So what am? All right, Andrew's over here now. He's gonna take Davy's spot. Davy's gonna this one so he's got to move over to the other side over there
haven't been able to do too much videoing here in the first couple days of chisel plowing. On the first day, I'll show you a clip here in a minute. Put my drone up in the air, and for whatever reason, it came crashing back down the ground. So we'll put a clip in of that. That's only about a minute long clip. I was able to retrieve the drone, broke the props on it. Broke one leg off, but that's no big deal. We'll get that fixed up. Alright, we are on our way to the field now. This is day number four of chisel plowing. We're actually going to be doing that hill up behind these grain bins here. So we're going to throw the drone up in the air, get some shots of that. Now we were over here uh, two days ago. We ended up getting snow Friday night into Saturday. And um, it was a little greasy to be over here yesterday. So we let things let things dry out and we're going to get started here in a few minutes so we've got some clips some small ones from the last couple three days but um the weather wasn't all that great so i really didn't do a lot of videoing so we're just pulling in the field now the tractors are a little dirty from um working here the past few days but all we've got left on this farm is this field here the one that's in behind us and then that strip over there, we're actually going to use the um, offset disc on. So, are you ready to get started, Bob? Yep. Yeah, he's overly anxious to get going here. So, let's see how today goes. We'll uh, throw the drone up in the air. We got suns out pretty good, so that ought to be some pretty good shots, right? Yep. Don't break nothing. Yeah. Get my Bluetooth cord set up and everything. Yeah. Okay.
Alright, it is now the following day since we've got done with uh, chisel plowing here. We didn't close out the video here last night. We got done chisel plowing over here. It was raining. And it is now obviously the following day. It's Monday, April 20th. Um, Andrew's going to do some offset disc. And I've got a drive shaft that goes to our fertilizer truck. That I've got to run into Syracuse and... Uh, I said, you know what? He was with me. I said, you could offset disc. This field here is stonier than hell. This is the only spot on the farm that's real stony from Lions Road here up to the woods. It's just this, now there's like 60 acres here, I, I believe. Something like that. Everything else on this farm is, is relatively, um, you know, there's no stone. So. I said, well, you could offset disc with the 8320 while I'm going to Syracuse. What'd you say? I said, no, I need the 8360. All right, so he has spoken. So we got the 8360 on the offset disc. This is just a 15 foot um, offset disc. It, um, it does a real good job. It needs all new iron put on it here. And it does really well in these stonier conditions like this because it just doesn't pull up the stones so he's gonna go ahead and offset disc this field here have you ever offset this before no think you're gonna be able to handle it yeah yeah all right so we want you get started here and I'll check in with you um, on my way back through from Syracuse here okay all right so he's gonna get started here I just gave him a quick crash course on uh, running this he's never run this offset disc before so We've had this tool for quite a while, and it um, it works it works really well. So he's going to go ahead and get started. Maybe we'll follow him with a pickup truck here for a second. But I've got to get down to Syracuse. I've got a um, drive shaft with a hanger bearing out, and uh, I just happened to notice it while we were getting this fertilizer truck finished up. This hanger bearing here is kind of tore up a little bit, so. I figured we would get that fixed just so I'm not hung up on the side of the road while I'm trying to deliver fertilizer to the to the corn planter here. So he's just making his first pass here now. As you can see, that does a pretty good job. Um, we'll leave him alone and hopefully he can get this done here before the day is out. Alright, we are just getting back here from dropping that drive shaft uh, section off down uh, Fleet Pride and then I had to stop at Home Depot. I had to get some plumbing parts for the... Um, to put this filter head assembly on this tank that I've got in the back of my truck here. So he's got probably, you know, he's not, not quite half done here. It looks like he's doing a real good job. It's um, turning up the ground real well. So we're going to pop the drone up in the air and um, just get some drone footage of the offset disking going on. The old dairy barn is right there. These, um, these guys sold out in 1989, so that's the last they milked any cows here. And then they had a grain facility over on this side of the road and they had chickens and whatever over here. So it was quite the farm back in the um, back in the 80s. So 
this is the type of tool that they used on this side of the farm here and like I said earlier on that side of the road there is no stones and over on this side as well there isn't any until you get up on top of that hill up there it gets real stony so this to replace right there on that front corner. Alright, so Junior has this field here all offset dist and this whole farm here is done now. We did all the chisel plowing here a little bit here last night while he was doing the live stream. He was doing that um, strip over there. I was doing this sod piece that's up in behind us and then we got rained out. Now um, this chisel or this offset disc here you can call it an offset disc. It's a plow disc. You can call it various things It's just on a real aggressive angle and you've got the front um, This almost on a 45 degree angle this way and then the back row of disc is um, Set on a steep angle as well. It takes quite a little bit of power to pull this um, obviously this tractor is, is uh, no match to her this plow is no match to this tractor it, it pulls easier than what this tractor will pull but you want a couple hundred horse on it anyway so we've got to get this home we've got this one disc here to replace and my nephew went after this uh piece of equipment here last week he was going to bring it home so that we could replace that and um he ended up doing a field over on route five a couple miles that way and then this stony one here and then in the next uh, day or so we'll get this home and replace that so with that being said folks I want to thank you for watching remember to leave me a thumbs up if you like these videos and we will catch it the next one right Bob yep. all right take it easy folks